Hey guys, it's Rich Curtis from Newmark, and here we're gonna take a close look at the Newmark NV. It's the world's most innovative and interactive DJ controller ever created. Okay, so let's dig in. So on the top, you can see we have two 4.3 inch full color screens. Now, the screens are gonna give you all of the information you need to know to operate the NV. Using the computer is necessary, but it's optional to look at the computer. Don't look like you're checking your Facebook. Do all of your performance right here on the hardware. Now on the screen, they're gonna show you everything you need to know. You can see what deck you're on, you can see the track title, you can see your actual platter moving. When I go ahead and I use the transport controls to play this back, you'll see my playhead is now spinning, I have my time remaining available, and I can go through the different views that are available, one of those being the detailed view. It's gonna blow up the waveform for me, I can see where the bass, mid, and treble notes are depending on the waveform color, and I even have the ability to adjust my effects, my BPM, the key it's in, and everything right from this screen. It's absolutely fantastic. Now over on the left, we have a few extra buttons here. We have our deck button, which will allow me to select between deck one and three on the left side and decks two and four on the right side. We also have a range button, and here I can use this to change my pitch range from 8% to 16 to 50% right here on the screen. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. The tap tempo, I can use this to tap in a certain tempo that I'd like to change the master BPM tempo to very easily. And the last two buttons will let me adjust, set, and clear uh, my grid markers inside the track. On the right side, we have a few buttons. One of those is the load button, and this is how we load a track. It's very simple, you're just gonna spin the select knob. You can go ahead and pick your track and hit load, but if you find that you're in the wrong crate, it's simple just to push down the select button, select the correct crate, push it again, and from there you can go ahead and load your track. A little trick for you guys out there, if you double press load, it will instantly take the track that's on this deck and move it over to the other side for instant doubles. Really cool little trick if you didn't know that. Below that we have a back button, so when we're in the menu we can hit back to go back to the menu we were in previously. Very handy. We have a panel view. If I hit panel you'll see in Serato I can skip through my standard extended view. I can uh, show Serato Flip, I can show my record functionality, my effects, and even my SP6 sampler, which will come in handy later. Below that, we have the ability to switch through our detailed view, our select view, and the crate view, and all those things. So that's a good coverage on the screen. Let's move on to the platters. They're a really nice platter design. Um, we can go ahead and load up a track. We'll press play, and you can see the center is gonna scratch, and the outside will shuttle. I can use that to move faster through the track or slower. Additionally, I can also use the shift button to be able to skip on the first beat of the measure through the entire track. I can get to the place I want real quickly, and when I find it, I'll go ahead and let go, and I'm ready to go. Now, on the left side of that, we have our pitch slider, and our pitch slider is gonna allow us to either take away a percentage or add a percentage to the pitch speed. And the great part about the NV is we can actually change the speed and the pitch independently. So from here, if you see, if I take the pitch slider and I push it up, it's gonna slow right down, but the pitch is gonna stay exactly the same. Now this is gonna come in really handy when you're running two decks on two separate tracks and you wanna actually have that BPM match each other. So that way both of your songs are playing at the same tempo. We've also added in a bleep button, so you can go ahead and hit that and remove your curse words or swears that might be in there. And if you hold the shift, you can have this actually act as a reverse as well. Really neat. The last one is your scratch. Obviously, if you have that on, you're gonna be able to scratch. If you turn it off, now you can use the whole platter as a shuttle. So from there, let's move on. I wanna talk about the pads. Now, the pad section on here is absolutely fantastic. It has eight RGB backlit pads, and they have five functions that also have two pages. So let's go over them. So the first one is cues. So the, the first one's cues, it's really simple. You just hit the pad and it's gonna play back from whatever place you've previously set inside the software. Uh, if I wanna add a cue point, I can just press it and add it anywhere I want. And I can hold shift and press it down to delete it. And we can delete them, it's that simple. Now we can take that and imagine flipping it over. If we press this button again, the cues button is gonna to start to flash, saying we're on the other side of that card. And from here, we can do a thing called cue loops. What's great about cue loops is you can press the button and it's automatically gonna start playing a loop. So this way it gives you a lot more time to cue your mixes ahead of time, or if you just wanted that to start in a certain place in the song and begin looping automatically, you're not gonna to have to cue the track and then find the loop afterward. Really simple. 
From there, I can go ahead and release the loop by pressing the pad again, and now it's going to continue to play the track through its entirety. The next mode we have is auto mode, and in auto mode, this is going to give us a way to do some rolling effects in either a momentary or a latching fashion. So we're in the standard auto roll menu, and you can see all of the buttons are blue. We play our track back here, I can press these down and get a variety of different loop points, all the way up to 16th notes. Press it again to release it. Now if I go ahead and press the auto button again, it's going to start to flash. I'm on the second page of the auto roll uh, functionality, and these would be a momentary roll. So from here I can just hold it down. It's great for build ups, rises and drops, things like that. Moving on to the next mode is loop. And in loop mode, it's very simple. The way it works is this bottom left pad is your in point, the next pad over is your out point, and the third pad is your on and off button. It's really simple to remember. So in, out. And it's just gonna loop forever from there. And I can go ahead and disable and enable with this button right here. Okay, the sampler. The sampler is great because on the sampler, you could load up any samples that you want to inside Serato DJ using the SP6 sampler. And from there, you can play these back along with your tracks that are playing back. So uh, from here, we have our standard mode, um, which this is going to just give you one velocity level. And if I press the sampler button again, it's going to bring us to the second page of the sampler. And now I have velocity sensitive controls. All right, and the last mode is your slicer mode. The slicer mode is great, and it's great for adding effects inside your current uh, performance, or um, it's great for production technique because you can actually take pieces of that track playing back and rearrange them in different order, which is kind of neat. Now, if you have a track that's either moving a little bit more slowly or a little bit more quickly, you can hold shift and use your parameter adjust buttons to speed up the slice. That's a real basic overview about what these pads are going to do. Let's move over to the mixer section. Okay, so we have the mixer section and let's start off at the top. As you can see, we have a microphone tone and a microphone aux gain adjustment and that will control the tone and the actual volume level of the microphone input. Uh, you have a booth control and that's going to be how loud the booth volume is or your cue volume or your headphone volume. Your master control obviously controls your master volume that goes out to the house or your speakers. And we have a little switch up on the left that's gonna choose whether or not you're inputting an auxiliary device into the back or a microphone. Again, you could either put in a vinyl turntable, a DVD player, whatever you want, or a microphone and use this selector switch to choose what you're inputting there. We have our master effects on and off for channels A and B. And below that, we have this little indicator here. It's a little red and white LED indicator. And what that's gonna show is it's gonna show where our pitch positions are. At any given time when you're mixing two tracks together, you can always be sure that they're actually synced by making sure that this dial, uh, this, these LEDs land right in the white in the center there. Uh, pretty cool. So then below that, we have our effects on off. We can enable channels A or B, and we can turn those on for each of the four channels. And again, since we have four decks, we have four individual channels here and a glorified capacitive touch interactive DJ system here. This is a really nice interactive capacitive touch system. Let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna play a track back here. And as you can see on top, we have our gain. We have our basic EQ functions like treble, mid, and bass. But the neat thing is that Newmark NV is actually fully capacitive touch. And this button right here is gonna allow me to do it. It's called touch effects. I can go ahead and press that and enable the touch effects. And now when I touch that EQ, I'm able to kill my EQ, whether it kill my lows, my mids, my highs, and it's all gone. There's actually zero bleed to the mixer because it's very high quality. The second I let go, it comes right back. Now these capacitive touch knobs, they don't just have to be touched on the top. You can touch them on the sides or really anywhere to get that effect. Pretty cool. Below that we have a filter knob and you're not gonna find that in our competition. Great thing about the filter knob, it's gonna give you the ability to use a high pass and low pass filter. You turn to the left, you get a low pass. Turn to the right, get a high pass filter. Now to add one on top of that, we actually added in this little thing called filter roll. I'm gonna go ahead and enable the filter roll and the filter roll is great for adding buildups, drops really anywhere in any track at any given time. Let's take a listen. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up. And it works the other direction as well. 
that easy. And you can go ahead and disable that just by pressing the button. Now below that, we have our headphone monitor preview. So anything we wanna hear through our headphones, we can simply press these buttons and that corresponding track will go through your booth and through your headphones. We have the ability to select which effects channel we're using, whether it be A or B or off. And we have our, obviously our four channel faders. Very smooth, very easy to use. And below that, we have our high quality crossfader. Now this is one of our best crossfaders we make and it's fully replaceable. And above that, we have a couple of other controls. One of those is your crossfader contour. So if you're a cutter, a scratcher, someone who likes that nice hard cut, you can go ahead and leave the switch to the right side. But if you're a house guy and you like to do nice even fades from one song to another, you would wanna leave this crossfader contour to the left. The other two controls we have are crossfader start A and B, and then what this is gonna allow you to do is turn these on, and every time you hit one side, it's gonna start the track playing back for you, just like that. Pretty simple, and that'll come in handy if you're juggling or doing other effects. Let's move on to the actual effects. Okay, now the effects section, like I said, is fully capacitive, just like the EQ. So typically what I can do is I can go ahead and press the button to enable my effect, turn the knob up, and as you can hear, you hear reverb there. Now this is great for a lot of reasons because I can access my effects, I can hold shift and press effects to change which effect I'm using, and that stuff's great. But one problem that all the DJs are having is when you have a giant buildup, a big, huge buildup and breakdown, the hardest thing to do is when the beat drops is to go through and disable each one of these effects all at the same time. The great part about the Newmark Envy, it's gonna give you the ability to enable touch effects, which we have right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable touch effects. And from here, I'm gonna be able to actually affect these knobs with my fingers. Let's take a listen. So now I can hit my, my repeater. And it's just from touching the knob. You can touch the sides. And then your parameter. Now, as soon as I let go, you're gonna see the effects button is not lit anymore and we're right back. So now we can do our build up. We'll use the filter together. And when we're done, we just let go of everything and it drops right back into the beat automatically for us. That's how smart the Newmark NV is. Okay, so that was a really basic overview of the Newmark NV. Again, this comes with Serato DJ as a free download when you purchase the unit. And if you want more information, don't forget to go over to newmark.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.